Welcome back to CNN Future Summit, World in Motion. Science fiction has always offered us amazing ideas for getting from point A to point B, usually more quickly and more efficiently than in reality. For example, take time travel. It's been a staple of sci-fi, from H.G. Wells right the way through to Doctor Who. So far, so good. But what's the reality? Time travel is perhaps one of the most amazing aspects of science fiction, and remarkably, as far as we know, given the laws of physics, it might be possible, at least in principle. We have no practical idea of how to do it. It's just down there in the equations so far. I guess we're going to have to be practical. It seems there's not much chance of us traveling through time anytime soon. In Star Wars, perhaps a jump to light speed will get us where we want to go. But what do the experts think? Hyperspeed uh, or, or warp drive or whatever you want to call it from science fiction is again not impossible in principle. It's a nice convenience, gets you around, but I don't know any physics that suggests that's possible. Well, those two gentlemen clearly don't agree. Let's give it a shot anyway. Make the jump to light speed. Welcome to the bridge. If there is one science fiction idea that could make fast travel possible, it is the transporter beam from Star Trek. Gentlemen. Alas, while the transporter is what seduced me into writing the physics of Star Trek, it's the one thing that I believe the laws of physics say is not going to happen, which is awful for those of us who travel in planes a lot. No one seems to quite get over the, the, the clear point that these people are, after all, annihilated and then made whole again. So I can make an approximation of you, but not an exact replica, and I don't know how many people would uh, pay money for that. Yeah, I'm not going to buy a ticket on that one. <laughs> Foolish. They don't know what's to come. Beam me down, Scotty. Coordinates, Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> 